guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell to be notified for future videos. Before we jump into today's video guys, I would like you guys to go check out Kyber 50s Customs. He is a newer YouTuber, he has about, I would say 20 to 25 subscribers here on YouTube, and he actually nominated me for a car, and he built me a car, and it's amazing. I haven't received it yet, but I wanted to shout him out and tell you guys to go check him out on YouTube. The link for his channel will be down in the description below. Make sure you send him and tell him that Kuda from Kuda's Diecast Customs sent you. Thank you. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, Diecast family. That is what I hear when I think about Ferraris and Jay's Diecast creations. Hello guys, and welcome back to the fish tank. I am Cole. I know it has been a while, but we finally have another video here. So today we are finally working on Amanda's Free the Ferraris build-off car. So this was due on June 21st, and it is July 4th right now. It is July 4th, and this car was due two weeks ago. So I'm a bit behind. So for Amanda today, I plan on fully restoring this car and making it something cool. So I hope you and everyone else enjoys. So what we're going to do to start this car is we're just going to examine it. The roof's a bit smashed in. It looks like crap, but I have a plan for that. The plan wasn't to do what I did, but it's the way I wanted to go because I thought, hey, it's different and it's cool. So I already pre-tapped and drilled this car. As you see here, I got my screw already out and we're gonna just take this car apart. So it's a metal base, plastic interior, plastic um, glass, and then metal casting, like normal. Once it's all apart, then you just put your screw back in just so no gunk gets in there and you can protect that drilled out rivet. Next, I am not using a Dremel tool. I'm gonna to be using a, a drill. I know, it's really weird, but I'm gonna be using a burr tool on a drill because it's just what I have and it's just what I gotta use. So, believe it or not, this actually worked out pretty well. It was a bit difficult, won't lie, because you had to grip it like a drill, not like a Dremel. So, there was a bit of a challenge, but we did end up getting both off that way. So, it was pretty cool. Alright, so these are the wheels we are using for this build today. These are some JDM wheel riders made by Hot Wheels. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking the smallest drill bit I have and drilling out at the center of the wheels because I am making new axles with some uh, wire, piano wire, and the hole that was provided from Hot Wheels wasn't big enough. But since I did that, they fit like a charm. So after we test fit that and drill out all the rest of the wheels, now we are going to mock up our axles. So what I like to do is, it's very simple, you just put both on, measure them to the point you need them, and then you cut off the excess. So it's simple. So how I do that is, I normally just take my snips here, as you see here, line up as close as I can, and then just snip. Believe it or not, that piece went flying and I kind of lost it. Don't tell anyone. So after gluing those uh, wheels all together and letting them dry, we're going to move on to our casting. And as you just saw there, it is pretty beat up and it's smashed in. So my plan was, as you see here, I was going to light it up with the lighter. Be careful, kids. Don't use fire. And just try to heat up the metal a little bit. I'm not like Rob over at Matchbox Garage, I don't got the fancy bane bag, but I did just use my desk. And as you see here, it did nothing. So then I went to my fingers to see if I could push it up. Honestly, I should have warmed it up again, but then I used the back end of a hammer and I just put too much force on it and I completely ripped the roof off this car. And you're about to see it about three, two, one, oh. right there. And that sucked because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do now. And I was freaking out. And then I stopped for the night. But then the next day, I figured out what I wanted to do. 
and what I wanted to do was, I wanted to just make this convertible. I looked it up, and they do make these 550s in convertible form. So I was like, can I keep these pillars? And at the time, yes, I did keep the pillars, but I decided to go a different route a bit later, about a week later, because I just like, this doesn't look right, and it's just not going to work, and it just doesn't look like it would if Hot Wheels made it. So right now as you see here i am kind of just filing on the back where the back posts were where those uh, b pillars were and they it was kind of messy but luckily i got lucky and the shape that i sanded both these sides in they pretty much equaled out and leveled themselves out and it just turned out great so i really don't have much complaints there but just be careful when you're doing that kind of thing because you want to try to knock it up as best as possible so after that's all done, as you see there, it's the best it's going to be for right now until we strip the paint. And speaking of stripping the paint, that's what we're doing right now. So grab the chump bucket, open it, plop our casting in there, and then you make sure it's tight, and then shake her up. So the base was painted, and I used a flat black paint. And what I'm doing now, it's pretty obvious as you see here, I am just filling the details on the bottom with um, my chrome pen because I just wanted this car to stick out like it always does and I just thought I wanted to do the best work possible for Amanda just so she has a cool Kudas diecast customs custom and it turned out pretty cool honestly the details on this one were so thin it was so hard to get them down without messing up believe it or not I redid these details I think three times total so I just wanted to do the best work I could. Now I am moving on to the casting. Like I said, I did remove those pillars and I was like, I'm not dealing with that. I got a different idea. So as you see here, I got a piece of styrene and what I'm doing with this styrene is I'm gonna fill the back half of the car because I cannot leave the rear trunk part or the rear seats, quote unquote, exposed because that's not how this car looks naturally. What they do is they just cover the back until the seats and just a brief idea, that's what it kind of looks like. So that gives you kind of an idea. Let's move on to paint. Kuda's Diecast Customs will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Hobbytown. Hobbytown is an awesome hobby store where you can find all your hobbies wants and needs. They provide everything from your tools and supplies to an awesome variety of paints, from spray paints to paints for your airbrush. To find your local Hobbytown, you can go to www.hobbytown.com to use the store locator at the top center of the homepage to find the closest store near you. Again, the website to use is www.hobbytown.com. Remember, we make your free time awesome. Alrighty, so this is what we did for paint. I already did all the details, we did the front grille, we did the headlights, and then we painted in a Rust-Oleum's white, and then turning to the back here we did the rear taillights. So that's pretty cool. Now we're going to move back to our base. Here's our wheels and our custom axles all done. As you see here, I uh, chromed the tips just so they look natural. And these fit pretty much perfect. They're a little bit big, but they end up looking awesome. My camera didn't want to focus there, but we made it focus. So all you got to do is, as normal, you guys know the drill. Just make sure you're on a leveled surface or so your base is above where it normally is, and then add your glue. Then let it dry. You can also move on to something else, like I'm about to. So after I was letting the wheels dry on there, I decided to go move on to my glass piece. And what I did was I just grabbed my exacto knife. Be very, very careful because the exacto knives are very, very sharp. And I just cut the point where I didn't want the glass. And I just cut the back half of the glass off and I'm keeping the front because it's a convertible now. So you don't need the back. That honestly probably would not look the best. What do you guys think? After messing around doing all that jazz in a different location, we are finally back in the fish tank. And 
What we're doing is finalizing our car with some custom Ferrari emblem decals made by Chuck over at Flying Valiance. And he sent me these a while ago and I finally had a reason to use them. So Chuck, as always buddy, thank you, thank you, thank you for hooking me up with these decals. I told you I'd test them out for you and I am trying my best to use them all. So I hope you're proud and again, thank you very much. If you guys need decals, 3D printed parts, or you want to do some trades and get to know someone good, go check out Chuck Ellis over at Flying Valiance on YouTube. I have to say, the struggle is really real with these really small decals, just like the ones I just put on. So after those were put on, I did add a special Kudas Diecast Customs logo onto the car, since I'm giving it away to Amanda. And it helps the builder know who, or the owner, my bad, know who it's coming from. So yeah, it's always a good little step to do in my opinion. And I again, I have to thank Chuck for giving me that idea. It just helps in the end, but that's just me. So guys, we are jumping right to our final, like, hurrah. And this is what we started with. It was a very beat up Ferrari 550, and she really needed some love. And I thought with this build off, it would be a great opportunity to bring her back to life. Not in the way that I thought I would, but in the end, it turned out pretty awesome. Let's go see what we finished with, guys. So here is my entry for the very, very late Free the Ferraris build. So we redid the paint, we did all the details, we changed the wheels, and we added the correct decals in the correct spots on the car. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I apologize guys for not having a video out right away. I've been very busy with work and I just have no energy at late at night to work on cars. But more videos are coming soon so look out for them. Guys I hope you enjoyed this video and Amanda happy late birthday. I hope you like the car and I will be sending it to you and Jay right away. With all that said and done guys thank you for stopping by the reef. Thank you for stopping by the fish tank, and we'll see you in the next one. Another video will be posted later this week. Thank you, guys.